Window screens have been giving me problems since the day I started taking on professional work. Just ask any carpenter or painter. Anytime we have to remove or work around window screens, they instantly become a liability. They break easily, they tear easily, the splines pull out. And any of the pitiful hardware that's designed to keep them in place, like plungers, blades, lift tabs, it generally all stops working within a few years. So getting your screens out in one piece becomes a major headache. I used to respline them for people occasionally, but after doing this for just a year, I called it quits because I broke more of them than I saved. There's just too many ways that they can malfunction. So when a company called FlexScreen rang my bell and said that they had solved all the problems associated with traditional window screens, I was pretty skeptical. But I was also intrigued. You might have already heard of these guys. They were on Shark Tank back in January and Lori invested a huge chunk of cash into them. On top of that, their product is a finalist for the Edison Award, they've been featured in numerous trade write-ups, and it seems like they're pretty much set to barnstorm the retail sector in 2020. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about, so I told them to send me some screens and they shipped them out pronto. From pretty much the moment I opened that box, I decided that what they'd sent me was actually pretty revolutionary. So watch as I put flex screen through its paces, find its pros and cons, and give some thoughts on a carpenter's angle. That's coming up here on The Honest Carpenter Show. Bulky, fragile, and ugly. Those are the main things wrong with traditional window screens. They're almost always visible because of the really wide frame. They have numerous components that hold them together, and they're hard to remove when those components corrode, which is pretty much guaranteed to happen because UV rays and temperature changes beat on window screens year round. Flex screen attacked all these issues simultaneously by doing something no one had ever really tried before. They made a single piece window screen frame that is not only extremely tough, it's also completely flexible. The frame is made of springy, phosphate-enhanced steel, which is then coated in PVC. Screen mesh is then welded onto the perimeter of this frame with the custom technique. No splines, no cumbersome trap systems. It's impressive, and when I first saw their product videos, I didn't really believe that you could bend a screen that much without something popping. But they seem completely resilient, and that springiness is what solves so many installation problems. To put the screens in, you just squeeze them at the waist and pass them through your window opening. You then line up the edges with your screen track, get a corner in, work the other corners in, and it just flexes into place. That's it. Originally I was confused about how you were supposed to remove them, because I thought you had to somehow dig them out of the screen track, which really isn't any better than traditional window screens. But that's a classic failure to read instructions from a trade pro. But it turns out all that you do is push the center of the screen until it bows a little bit, then you can grab an edge and work it out. They're so strong that they can take that pressure of pushing on the screen, which is mind-blowing given how fragile most window screens are. The only trick is that you have to push on a certain side. The flex screens come with a little sticker on them. This indicates the side of the screen that should face into the house. Because the mesh is welded onto that surface, that side is stronger and therefore okay to push on. Important distinction. As long as they're used the right way, they're tough. Way tougher than I anticipated. They have no delicate hardware, so they're easy to install. And they just look better. The frames are thin and elegant, and they pretty much vanish around the window unlike the older, fatter screens. And you can even order them in a variety of meshes, some with low visibility, pet tear resistance, UV blocking, whatever your priority is. The pros of flex screen are obvious and numerous from the moment you install them, but I never like to look at a tool or material without also looking at its disadvantages, and there are always disadvantages. So, what are the cons? As far as I can see, there are two main drawbacks. One, they're quite a bit more expensive than traditional window screens. They have a base price of about $70 per screen, and different mesh selections can affect this. Traditional screens run somewhere from about 25 to 45 for a single unit. So there's a price markup for sure. But flex screens do come with a lifetime warranty, which helps balance things out. And given that traditional window screens tend to fall apart rapidly, I see this as significant. You're paying for quality and durability. The second drawback, and the one that I see as being possibly more important, is that you have to measure for the screens yourself, and I know that this is going to confuse a lot of people. Flex screen is an order and ship company. No one is going to come out and do the tape measure work or the installation work for you. They have measuring guidelines on their website, and people are standing by on call to walk you through the process. But if my experience as a carpenter has taught me one thing, it's that most people don't know how to use a tape measure effectively, and they're often sort of embarrassed to admit it. I deal with this all the time in my day-to-day -day professional work. That's why I'm always hesitant to rely on a client's measurements for much of anything. Fortunately, there's almost always a way to make measuring easier by using mock-ups which are basically just physical models that help you visualize things. For instance, flex screens require a window screen track 5 16ths of an inch wide to sit in. 5 16ths is hard for a lot of people to find on a tape measure, but the American quarter is 1 16th of an inch thick. So stack five quarters and slot them into the screen track. 
If they fit, you've got 5 16 inch of clearance and flex screen will fit into your track. That's how mock-ups work. Keep in mind, if the five quarters don't fit into your window screen track, you can still use flex screen, but the measuring will change slightly. We'll get to that in a second. But let's assume that your tracks are big enough to fit flex screen. You now need to determine the right screen size for each window so you can place your order. The measuring instructions involve pulling measurements of the space between tracks, then finding the depths of your tracks, adding that together, and subtracting a set amount for some wiggle room. It's a lot of tape work and a lot of math though, and even after you crunch the numbers, it can still be tricky to tell if you've done it right. Instead, try another mock-up. The best way I can think to do this is to get some stiff, fresh cardboard. Don't get an old crumpled box or anything like that. If you have to, run out to some place like the Home Depot and get a new large box. Now, cut out two narrow pieces of cardboard that are smaller than your window width and make sure that the ends are square. You can just use a magazine to do this if you have one. Set them down in the screen track or behind the window screen flange if that's what you have and slide them to each side until they butt against the inner walls of the screen track. Once they're tight in that position, back them off just a little bit. Then tape the two pieces together where they overlap using painter's tape or duct tape. Slide the conjoined cardboard pieces side to side again. You should have a little bit of play here, but not so much that the cardboard falls out if it's pulled to one side. You want it to jostle a bit, but stay in place. Here, you've got a perfectly good cardboard mock-up of your window screen width now. Just lay it down, pull your tape from one edge of the cardboard and measure to the other. That's the width measurement you'll put in for your window screen order. It's easy as that. This works the same way for the height measurement too. You may need slightly longer pieces of cardboard, but the theory is exactly the same. Take two pieces, slide them tight into the track opening, back them off, tape them, and then remove and measure. I really like this approach because then you can just take your mock-up, move it to the next window, see if it fits pretty well there, and then move right along. Windows tend to be quite standard, and you can easily round up all your window measurement numbers in a fraction of the time. The one catch here is if you don't have screen tracks, or don't have screen tracks that are wide enough to fit flex screens, that 5 16ths of an inch. Like I said, you can still use flex screens, but they have to get held in place by these little black bumpers that the company sends out to you with your order. These things basically just adhere to the outer edges of the screen frame and hold the screen in by tension. For this reason, you want your measurements here to be tighter. So, still using the same mock-up concept, spread the two cardboard pieces apart until they're tight in the opening, then back them off just 1 16th of an inch. That's just one little tick on a standard tape measure. That's all the room these little compressible bumpers need to do their work. But if you wind up going an eighth inch extra, I really don't think it's going to hurt all that much. Use that mock-up to check the bottom, center, and top of the window opening, since these things can deviate a little, especially on older wooden windows. If the higher part of the window is tighter, then you want to narrow down your final measurement to match that area. And of course, you can repeat this process again for the vertical height measurement. That's it. Quarters, cardboard, mock-ups, they're just visual models that help you test these things in the real world, and then you can pull the measurements on those mock-ups. Beyond that, ordering is simple. Just get on FlexScreen's site, click the Buy Now button, and go from there to enter your window screen measurements. I think these things are awesome. They're sleek, tough, just a really brilliant innovation. I'm looking forward to seeing where Flex Screen goes, especially with their newfound Shark Tank support. And of course, I'm really looking forward to growing my own channel as well. As always, feel free to leave questions and comments below. Be sure to check back in soon for more videos coming up. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.